Hello and welcome to everybody. Uh, thanks to all you who's uh, following me, uh, subscribed or liked or all that. I love it. Uh, I'm telling about. Uh, I will tell about uh, five minutes about ADHD and autism. And uh, today I will uh, speak especially about the puberty. Um, Normally, the, the puberty is coming later on if you have ADHD or autism. Maybe a year, maybe two. Um, it takes the brain a little bit longer to, to get ready to all that with kissing stuff and uh, touching stuff and uh, all that for some people, at least. Uh, everything is general. Uh, there will be uh, people who who's well, this is not fitting in. But uh, for many people, uh, many young people, it... Uh, the puberty came came up well one or two years later on, and it makes it extremely difficult. When um, if you if you are in a normal school with uh, normal pupils and uh, and and all your friends is um, entering the puberty before you, because uh, lots of things happening. Uh, one one thing is the physical thing. There there will be hair. There will be a. Uh, um, all kinds of stuff. Your body is changing. Your voice is changing. Maybe if you are a boy, um, your throat is changing, and and there will be a lot of things who can scare you. I I have had a boy. Uh, I'm a teacher, and and one of my pupils, he was so terrified about the puberty because no one or nothing should change his body from what he knew so well. He he really needed to to know everything before they came. And we couldn't tell him when or how, um, and it frightens him so much. So we, uh, we, we, we saw pictures, we draw stories about how it could be, and it helped him a lot that um, to see grown-ups with hair under their arms, uh, for example, um, to uh, to listen to his dad's voice uh, and listen to his own voice and say, okay, it might not be so bad, because maybe it would be more strange if I am a grown-up man and I'm talking like this still. So so we talked a lot about the changes, the differences that will be in the puberty and it helps him a lot. And I will I will pay this uh, put this forward to to be spread because we can we could take a lot of stress out of our children if we can prepare them to the puberty too. But another thing I couldn't prepare my own sons to was um when um when the when the girl became uh, young, they they start to say the opposite of what they meant, all the time, almost. They could scream, "Don't, don't, stop, stop, please! Oh, don't do it!" And then, um, and my son with autism and ADHD, he would probably go in there and say, "Stop it!" She say, "No, stop it! Back off!" And then the girl would probably say, "Why do you mix up? Hey, we were having fun." Go away! Uh, and my son just he came home and said, "I don't understand them. They they lie to me. They they're cheating me. They are." Um, and he just he was he went so frustrated because he couldn't understand them. Um, and uh, they start kissing in the school in the school yard. They they stood there kissing maybe with tongues and he was <laughs> almost throwing up he thought it was so disgusting um because it went two years before he was ready to uh, to think about girls that way so there there are a lot of things in the puberty which can really stress out our children our young young uh, boys and girls uh, both if we are teachers and if we are parents we have a responsibility to um, to prepare them, uh, and we have a responsibility to see them in the act, to see what does it do to you, uh, how do you feel about it, do you think you'll be ready one day, uh, and all that stuff. Uh, because I know uh, I'm a mentor. I have been a mentor for many boys who thought they might be gays because they they didn't react on girls on the way the other boys did before two years after. So. There are so many things we have to talk about, also when our kids is in puberty. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back.